So for this job, I recommend uh, putting the bike in this position so the motor doesn't fall out when you remove it. Uh, I also recommend taking the front tire off because you're going to need to get to these two bolts here. Uh, so the only tools you're going to need is the Shimano cable puller for the EP8, 4mm hex, and a 2mm hex. Okay, we're going to go over how to take out the battery on a Obey Arise. It's obviously in the down tube, so we have to get to it first by removing the motor. Um, if you don't know how to remove the motor, I have another video I'll link in the description that you can use to get to, through that process. Um, but we're going to start with the bolts and everything removed and the, the motor is ready to be taken out. So, um, again, keep your bike in this position. That way the motor can be lifted and up and down without it just falling out. Always a good idea. Um, to get the motor off completely, we have to remove uh, these two cables and the battery cable. All very simple. Now get the cables out. So this will get the cables out the right way so you're not pulling on the cable and possibly separating the cable from the connector. So once these two are off, um, the only thing left to do is the battery cable. Uh, the battery cable is a slip collar. You can see that there's an arrow right here to indicate the, when you put it back on which where it should be. And there's an arrow there. So this is a slip collar. We just take the collar, slip it off, slip it down, and it should just come right off. Just like that. Now we've got our motor completely removed. We're going to look down in here. And you can see that there's another connector to the battery, or actually it's not another connector. Well, yeah, it's another connector to the battery. We're gonna have to take this out. There's two little screws holding that in. And all we gotta do is take this out and that'll take that plate off. And then we can get that cable off the battery and then take the battery out. Okay, so inside of here it's a two millimeter, fairly small. I don't have a T-handle two millimeter. So I'm just using this little electronics toolkit that I got. We'll skip to that being out. But removing these is pretty straightforward. One. I recommend using a magnetic screwdriver if you can so that it doesn't fall off and go down the side of the down tube. Getting the second one off, and then we'll show how that plate connects. Second screw. So now you can see the plate that's in there. Pretty simple. And that just comes off like that. You see that's keyed. I don't think you can put it in wrong uh, when you put it back. But there's all this excess cable and such that uh, Orbea has this little zip tie here for pulling it, but we got to get these other two screws out here. These are just four millimeters. I recommend taking the bottom one off first and the top one. And go ahead and grab that latch. Not latch, the, the little zip tie they had that holds the battery. So when you undo this one, the battery doesn't slide down. Now that we got that, it's as simple as, well, we also have these little things to remove inside. You want to take one of these out. Might as well go ahead and take both out. These two, and now we're just going to pull the battery out. Really easy, especially when you're using two hands and not just one. And that's it. You can see it's labeled a Corbea RS. So this is vendor specific. Yay, proprietary parts. So now you can access all the stuff down in your down tube. 
if you needed to reroute cables or whatever you needed to do, it's now way easier to do that. Uh, dropper posts is easier to get access to. Uh, pretty much everything. So that's it. Um, to put it back together is obviously the same, same, but in reverse order. <clears throat> so, uh, first things first, let's make sure we put it back in the same way that we got it out. And that's with zip tie on the right. Just slide it down in there. And you're going to want to get that bolt in. Make sure the cables are clear. There, see now it's going nice and easy. So we just had a cable kind of in the way. Now what I'm going to do is, as soon as I can, I'm going to lower it until I see the screw hole match up with this one. It's kind of tricky getting them in there, but just get one started. Don't tighten it all the way because the one at the bottom can be a pain. So while it's loose, you can now get this one in. Just cinch those back down. And the battery's back in place. You'll want to get this cable stuffed back in however you want to stuff it. Take your tiny screws with a two millimeter hex. First one in. You can see we got the, the little holding plate back on top of the cable. Um, Battery sticks back up, the cable is kind of smashed back down in there. We can do a better job, but um, I might zip tie this and stuff it. Now we have to use put the motor back on, which is super easy. You're gonna to want to take these two pieces, put them back into their place on the sides here and here. There, just like that. And then same on the other side. They kind of snap into place a little bit. Not super secure. Just got your motor back. Like we said before, there's a, an arrow right here. Just line that this arrow on the cable up with it. slip collar so it's really easy to push back on so that's it right there it's back on no problem just like that and just reseat the motor that's right in and that's it that's how you pull your battery out and put it back in